Oh yeah. We you guys like, seem so excited to do this. No, I don't like the camera. Yeah. So today we were with three classrooms, um, about 20 kids, showing them and teaching them about... Four classrooms. Oh, four. Mm -hmm. Four classrooms teaching them about parts of plants. So we did a craft, explained the roots, the stem, the leaves, and the flower, and then showing them the process of how plants grow. It was pretty cool. You showed different levels for different levels of students. Mm -hmm. Like the lower students were basically coloring, whereas they got higher, they were writing or cutting and pasting to challenge them based on their skill level. And we also encouraged the parents who were there with their kids to help them write and show them the parts of the plants as they were coloring it. In. So mm -hmm. it was pretty cool. Yeah, and we used hand over hand prompts for everything that they needed assistance with and you know, uh, working out. Yeah. So you want to share so, what? So today we, when we introduced ourselves and we said our names, we also asked the children how they feel. Mm -hmm. And we used this chart and a lot of them really loved it. They loved choosing and they, everybody thought it was pretty silly to choose something different. Yeah. and and even kind of show and express the feeling they were feeling, even some of the nonverbal children. And um, today, you know, I noticed the mom and her child's she was deaf. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so she pointed to the faces and then she made the faces and it made him laugh over and over again. So I tried that out with one of the students and it, and it made them laugh as well and, and also taught them about a little about their feelings. And we also had the students break for movement by having them demonstrate what they learned with the plant lesson with their bodies through song. So we had a song where they would show us that they were a seed, a seed. and then they would slowly grow up into a plant. And then we kind of did some yoga and challenged their balance. Yeah. Maybe they wanted to one foot and um, like have their leaves blowing in the wind. So it gave them a chance to move. It gave them some like sensory breaks. There was jumping up and down and spinning and it's good for all, all kids and especially kids who have needs for different kinds of movement breaks throughout the day. Um, and it also was another way for them to demonstrate what they're learning through uh, kinesthetics and different ways of learning.